So I really, really want an Attack on Titan video game. <coughs> Gonna die. <coughs> guys. Okay, so my big surprise was I made a video blog for you guys. Yay! Or at least I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I just felt like um, doing a video to kind of commemorate the summer, being that it's almost the end of July, August is coming, um, and despite summer being my absolute favorite time of the year, I'm ready for it to be done, just because it's really exhausting. Um, working at the library and doing summer reading program is fun. But you can only, I, I, I now know why we can, we only do two months of it because it is exhausting. But anyways, I am glad that we did get to do at least some fun things this summer. So I'm going to talk about um, my favorite activities, movies, and books, and um, a couple of the buys that I got this summer. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, the first thing that was um, one of my summer favorites was this book, Crazy Rich Asians. It's by Kevin Kwan. Um, and this was a really fun summer read because it was really light and airy. Um, it's about a girl, her name's Rachel. She's an ABC, which means American Born Chinese. And um, she's engaged unknowingly to a, um, basically a Chinese millionaire who's supposed to inherit his family's fortune of they don't know how much money they have because they have so much money. Um, so this is a really fun read just because it's about how your everyday normal girl um, gets swept up into this crazy world of really wealthy Asians. And it was really fun just because I love fashion and there were, it's absurd how much money the characters uh, and the side characters spend on just clothing and fashion and putting on airs. And it's really quite comical. Um, I would never want to live as a um, the heir of a Chinese billionaire corporation or something like that because it's stressful. It was um, the characters dealt with a lot of conniving and um, a lot of. Anyways, it was it was really fun just because there was so much fashion in it. It was really funny. There were a lot of like old grandma Chinese characters that were really eccentric but really stylish and you just couldn't help but love them because they're just they're crazy rich Asians that's all they were and I I really enjoyed it it's not um like life changing or anything like that but it was fun okay the second favorite thing from this summer was probably the um, the book The Life of Pi. I don't have the actual book with me because I got it from the library, but that one was a life changing read. And it's um, you guys have seen the movie, so you know the storyline. But I don't know if maybe seeing the movie first and then reading the book um, made it better, or if I really just really loved the book because it was so it was such a good read. It was, um, Pi has just got this really charming voice, an amazing, um, perseverance when he's shipwrecked on, you know, his lifeboat with Richard Parker, the, the tiger. And the, the author is just really able to turn a story that would be just kind of heart-wrenching and borderline disgusting because he's having to survive off of nothing. Um, he turns it into a really beautiful, uplifting story with so many amazing visuals. One of my favorite things from the book was when he would stop, and the author, um, recording Pi's story, would explain the scenery, and they were, one scene in particular was right after the first huge storm that Pi had to survive, and he's on the ocean, and it's right at um, sunrise, and the orange sun is just coming up, and the entire sea is just glass, it's completely still. And he said that the, I, I wish I had the book so I could read it to you, but it was just full of just these amazing natural visuals that just um, really made you appreciate the, the beauty and the, the power of nature. 
Um, those were my two favorite books. Um, my second, with my third favorite thing from this summer, and I'm doing these not in an actual um, order, as in like one is better than two or three. It's just the order that I'm thinking them in. But um, my favorite thing, my third favorite thing on this list is the movie How to Train Your Dragon 2. The best movie I have ever seen in a long, long time. I loved that movie. I loved going and seeing that movie with you guys. I loved being able to just talk about it afterwards and we went and got donuts and stuff at Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, that entire experience was awesome. But that entire movie blew me away. Storyline, plotline, um, setting, the characters, the expansion of the dragon universe. It was just amazing and I kind of want that movie for Christmas so you guys remember that that I want that movie for Christmas and my birthday and Valentine's Day just any I want like eight copies of that movie <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna get into some of my favorite fashion finds that I've just kind of collected over this summer um, and we're gonna start off with these booties and it's because I bought these were one of the first things that I did buy this summer and I bought these when I was at Kohl's because I was looking for work pants and I was just tired of looking at Target for work pants. I did get a pair of work pants, um, but I found these and they were on sale for, I think it was $11 and they were originally like $75. I don't remember the exact price, but I remember that they were like in a 75 zone. So they were really, really marked down. I think they were last seasons, but I just love them because they're... Um, cut out so you can wear them for summer but you can still wear them for fall they have a nice um gold detailing and a nice thick chunky heel that's not too high so i can still walk in them but yeah i, I consider those a steal just because uh, i paid 11 dollars for them and i know that i'll wear them all this fall and i've already worn them a lot this summer or another one of my favorite things is just these pair of jeans um, and the reason I'm, these are some of my favorite is because they're distressed. They've got, um, really cool holes everywhere, and I've never been able to find a pair of holy jeans that fit me right. And these were originally boyfriend jeans, so they were supposed to be the ones that were really baggy and you kind of cuffed them, but with my butt, they didn't fit right. Um, so I just kept them in my closet for like two years. And then I finally got around to it, um, to fixing them. And so I actually took them, cut off the cuffs, and sewed them into um, skinny jeans. And I love them now. I, they're my favorite um, off work pants. They just go with everything, and I know that I'll wear them this fall. Get it untangled. All right, my next thing is this statement necklace. This is from Walmart. It's amazing, right? Walmart. It was $10, um, and I got it when I had to go to the um, dermatologist, and we had a little bit of time to spare, so Mom and I ran into Walmart. And this was the Walmart that I was telling you about that had, like, the jewelry selection of Forever 21. Well, they had a whole wall of just statement necklaces. And I grabbed this one just because I really liked the, um, the plastic discs and the blue tones up against the bronze. I don't know, I just thought that they would work really well this fall. Okay, let's see. Um, my next favorite thing was my dress. I love this dress. You guys were with me when I bought it. Um, I bought it for the wedding and I've just worn it ever since. I really like it because it's got dark colors, which I prefer, but it's also still really feminine, kind of edgy with the different um, patterns. It's just a sleek sheath cut, and it's really comfortable when it's hot outside. So that's kind of one of my favorite things. All right. The next was this um, black blazer. This was actually one of Mom's that she gave me, and um, I really like it because it's like a size 8. Yeah, it's a size 8. So it fits really loose, and it's just kind of got a nice boxy um, boyfriend fit to it and I love wearing it to work because it's black I can throw it over a t-shirt and be ready to go um, it's not so tight around my shoulders and stuff that I can't move um, and it's just a really good piece and it was free okay my um, next favorite fashion find this summer was my um, maxi skirt with the slits 
up to, you know, about mid-thigh. This is a really favorite of mine just because um, I think it makes me look really skinny. And um, I really like anything that's black but with a little bit of edge to it. It looks really great with a button-up tied up or with um, just a white t-shirt and denim jacket. And I hope I get to wear this into the fall a lot. Um, but I just really like it because I didn't realize how cool, like, temperature-wise, maxi skirts are. I, I need more of them because they're much cooler than pants and stuff. Okay, and then um, my last, no, I have two more things that um, were my favorites from this summer. And one of them is this compact from e.l.f. So it's the dollar, you know, brand at Target. I really liked it because it's um, got the three, the four, it's got four different colors and they're tone correcting. So they're really good for me because I have so many different colors going on with the acne and stuff that um, I use the green and it counteracts the red tones of um, the pimples. And then I also like the yellow because it counteracts the blue tones of like scarring and under eye bags. So you just take it and you know, Put it on under your eyes or um, powder it over your um, pimples and it really kind of just disguises them. The colors really do just kind of even things out. It's really cool. I would have never thought of trying that as a human being, but it works and it's like three bucks and I love it. Okay, this is a really silly last thing, but it is um, this bracelet from Dollar General. Don't you guys know I'm just such a big, high brand spender? Um, I have literally gotten, I think, five different compliments on this cheap bracelet from different people. Um, and they just love that it looks like, you know, googly eyes or eyeballs. And I like it because it kind of reminds me of that, um, the evil eye symbol. I don't know why I'm just pointing at my shirt. Um, the evil eye symbol that the Greeks use. I don't know. I just thought that they were really cute and colorful. Put it on and it adds to the stack of the bracelets. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just thought it was a really fun buy for a couple bucks and it amazes me how much I love it and how much other people like it so I guess it shows that I have you know good tastes and all that um but yeah those are my favorites from this summer and um I really did have a great summer I enjoyed going to the movies and going to the zoo spending times with you guys at the pool I am super excited for our last trip to the um camping I cannot wait I won't be there for the entire time it'll be I will be there for a good two three days um and I ready for summer to be over but I don't regret any of it I enjoyed it um and I'm glad that I did get to spend some time with you guys and do silly things like that you know whatever but yeah so I have no idea how I look on camera but being that you guys are the only ones that are gonna see it who cares bye